The next story is about what happens when you flush the loo. That might not be something you think about much, but it's actually really important. Because along with the smelly stuff, Aussies flush billions of litres of water down the loo. And it all needs to be treated before it goes back into the environment. Sarah met up with some brave school kids who are getting a close-up look at sewage treatment. It's something that we all have in common. You, me, your teachers, the Prime Minister. Everybody poops. But not everybody knows what happens to the stuff that goes down the loo. And these guys are out to change that. Don't worry, it's not what you think it is. And gross as this may appear, it is serious science. These guys are getting an up-close look at the science of wastewater treatment. First up is a trip to Sewage Central, otherwise known as Bolivar Wastewater Treatment Plant. Just to give you an idea, the population of Adelaide is about 1.2 million people. And that 1.2 million people produces, on average, about 240,000 kilograms of faeces a day and 2.4 million litres of urine a day. That sounds like a lot, but 99.99% of the stuff that goes to the plant is just water. It's that little bit that isn't that makes it pretty gross. I wasn't expecting it to smell this much. OK, so it's not exactly a bed of roses, but the smell isn't really that bad, thanks to this tower, which uses chemicals to get rid of most of the pong. Yeah, who puts the chicken down the toilet? Seriously. The first thing that gets removed is the paper and the plastic and the stuff that really shouldn't be there. Probably once or twice a week they get a phone call from some little old lady somewhere going, oh, excuse me, I've just flushed my teeth down the toilet. Could you just find them for me? There's a couple of things wrong with that. One is, well, who's going to go fishing around in the bin looking for her teeth? And two, why would you want them back? Like, seriously, go get some new teeth if you flush them down the toilet. When the chunks are all out, it goes to tanks where the thick, sludgy stuff sinks to the bottom. After treatment and a few years of drying out, the sludge will be used by farmers as fertiliser. As for the water, or effluent, it's sent to tanks where microorganisms help to clean it by chowing down on the nasty stuff. The process produces methane gas, which is used to power the plant. This plant does a lot of recycling. Uh, we've produced the biosolids, the fertiliser, we're producing heat um, and we're also producing electricity over in the power station and then at the end, once we've cleaned all of the water, we've got fairly clean water that we can discharge into the environment. Once it's been cleaned up, the water at Bolivar goes into these big lagoons where the sun helps to kill off more germs. While it's not quite good enough to drink, some of this will be used to water gardens and flush more toilets. After the tour, it was back to the lab for a hands-on look at the science beyond the loo. The smells, the gas, and a whole bunch of other cool sciencey stuff. We've learnt how there's different bubbles that do different things to different bacteria. What about the whole process of treating um, sewage? Is that more complicated than you thought it would be? Yes, yeah. yeah, so yeah. very, very complicated. <laughs> Then and that of course, out. there yeah. was the poop. So, little ring of muscle usually down the bottom there, that's an anal sphincter. Nice. Um, we nice. can open that up and press out the poo like so. Mm. Well, that's lovely. And that goes away to a wastewater treatment plant, and we remove all of the nasty stuff and uh, just left with the water. <laughs> well, there you go, we just made poo. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, we all make poo, don't we? Yep, yeah, all the time, you're making it now. <clears throat> <laughs> Poo jokes aside, there's an important lesson here about the ways we can save water and all the interesting stuff that goes on behind closed lids.